welcome back. We are back with another pre-pack curry. Now, this, as far as I know, has been out quite a long while, about May this year, I believe. And I've been in Aldi's loads and never never seen it. Always looked at what they've got. But for some reason, this has always just passed me by. So I thought, yeah, better late than never. I've got to try it and I might as well review it. And it says about it, char-grilled marinated chicken breast pieces in a hot and spicy onion and tomato sauce served with cooked pilau rice. Mmm, chicken vindaloo with pilau rice from Aldi's price-wise £2.49. Let's get this warmed up and let's see, is it hot? And also, is it any good? So there we are, out of the dinghy machine, the rice, usual, uh, well, microwave basmati rice. I've just chucked into the curry, but there you go. Uh, we'll get into that later. The curry is that red, how it's appearing on camera. It's it's quite it's a nice colour, actually. And it, it looks like there's enough chicken in there. So let's go back to the table then and let's see. What does it smell like? What does it taste like? And is it hot? Ooh, over to the table. Right then, at the table, let's see, what does it smell like first? I am getting a slight vinegar smell, and a lot of these vindaloos, you don't get that smell because they don't put enough in. It doesn't smell like it's highly spiced. It may be hot enough chilli-wise, but I'm not getting all the other the, the flavours, the cumins and everything coming through. So let's go in with the rice first. It doesn't taste bad. The cumin's coming through, the turmeric that they've used, they've not used saffron obviously because it costs a fortune. Um, the turmeric, the cumin, seeds that are in there. It is that usual rubbery texture that you get with microwave rice. What can you do about it? Uh, let's try the sauce. There's a slight vinegariness. Is that a word again? <laughs> vinegariness. Mm, I don't know. Well, the vine there's a slight vinegar taste uh, coming through. The tomatoes coming through. And it is a bit maybe under spiced uh, for the other flavors coming through and the main flavor is the garlic the onion the vinegar and the tomatoes and it's it's nice but not as highly spiced as i like my vindaloos to be on every every spice not just the chili but it's not bad and it it is getting me a bit at the back of the throat the the chili in it so it's interesting let's see what state this chicken's in because one i've done recently the chicken weren't the best Mm. A bit chewy, but not gristly. It's just the the, the texture of it uh, with microwave, and I think it's just just a bit a bit chewy, not as tender as normal chicken breast, but it's not bad. I've had far worse. Now let's try the sauce, a bit of chicken, and a bit of rice, all in one. The whole shebang. Can I get it in me gob? Mmm, it is a nice taste, and it's a nice chicken taste as well, like they've used stock instead of water. They've not, but with the chicken that's in it, it's bringing the, the flavours through nice. Right, Ab, rating first on that one. It gets a thumbs up. It's not bad at all. Not bad at all. Now, I've had some that are dearer than that, and they're not as good. This is not the best vindaloo I've had. Taste-wise, you're getting the tomatoes, the garlic, the ginger's coming through. That slight vinegar taste is there. I would have liked a bit more because I do like the red wine vinegar in a vindaloo. Took loads of it in, but that's just my preference. But the strength, right, it's got the thumbs up. Is there any buts to it? Not a but, because, again, you don't know what their benchmark is, and they're aiming at the masses, but it's not a vindaloo strength. I would say a madras, when you've eaten the whole thing and it's, it's building... I would say a madras or maybe a bit above a madras, but it's not a vind not what I class as a true vindaloo strength. But compared to a lot of supermarket curries that say it's a madras and it's really mild and it's a vindaloo and it's a sort of a medium, not a vindaloo. This is a good effort because it is quite spicy and it's a nice chilly sensation in your mouth. It's it's tingly, but it's not boof, wipe you out hot. Depending, of course, on what your tolerance level is, and that's the thing we have to remember. People's tolerances are different. So someone who only ever has like tikka masalas and the odd medium curry will probably have this and say, ooh, that is a vindaloo, that's hot. People like me that eat a lot of curries and a lot of spices and 
way too much chilli and garlic, then to me, I'd say it's a medium, maybe a tad above a medium, but it's still nice. And at £2.49, it gets the thumbs up. No buts, just that slight point that it may be, to me, not hot enough. Thumbs up, recommend it. Go and get it. Go and try it if you've not had it yet. You probably have, because it's been out of donkeys, but I've never seen it, like I said. Thumbs up on the video if you've liked it. Helps the channel out massively. Do click that thumbs up. I know a lot of you just watch it and just think, ah, just exit now. One button click. One button click. One video. It'd be nice if all you that watched it, smack that button and we've got loads of likes on it. And drop your comments in. Have you tried this? Did you like it? What did you think of it? And if you've just found this, subscribe. And I know you know, but just in case you don't know that I know, it's free to subscribe. Yeah. Click the notification bell, select all, you'll get a drop down menu because if you don't, you'll miss notifications and you might miss something really important. And we're going and I'll catch you on another one. Death it off.